Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the next video in the Mega Man X series that I'm doing and of course now it's Mega Man X3, the last Mega Man X released for this NES back in the day and definitely the worst one, right? In the NES area, it's just Mega Man X3 wasn't as good as X1 and 2, at least in my opinion, the way I always felt about those games and all of that. But it's still good, compared, especially compared to what's good, what is coming, you know, starting with Mega Man X6 later on. But yeah, I mean, Mega Man X3 for me, it's still solid, but there's definitely some things I wish it would have done better at the time, you know? So I'm gonna talk more about that as I play and also just jump right into it. So yeah, this is gonna be a 100% playthrough. I'm gonna get all the hearts, all the tanks, uh, get the gold armor, and get the... I mean, letting Zero die at the end is considered to be 100%, so I'm also going to be doing that, but yeah. Here you go, right here. Trouble's already happening. So the story is a little different now. I mean, there's this guy called Dr. Doppler around. He has some malicious intentions around. And obviously, X and Zero has to fix it. Zero's dropping to say, X, I'll clear out the enemies out here. You basically support me. Go ahead and deal with the others inside. Since you are the inferior hunter, right? As always, Zero always has to think about him. But yeah, there you go. Well, as you can see, it looks just like X1 and 2. Definitely. I mean, they improved the little things. I think our art style especially is a little... Improved a little bit. But it's still OG Mega Man X, pretty much. And there's nothing wrong with that. I love those games. Like I've said so. Oh, this one is different right here. It's this guy. What's his name again? It's called Mac. Where have you been? And he's just... He just shots at you. What an idiot. Then he says, You are far too trusting, X. I am now a member of Doppler's army. You will make a fine addition for us once I have you. You have been shown the true destiny of the reployed race. And he just kidnaps you. That is unexpected, though. Game already starts off a little different than usual. And that's when... That's when... One of the major differences of this game. You can play as Zero. Oh my god, and his music, right? He's the hero. Because he has he has a bigger health bar than Axe. You can charge his he actually has a Z Saber right here, you see? And you can play as Zero during the stages, you know. You can literally just press start during the stage and change it if you wanted to play as him. But you can't fight bosses too, I believe. I, I mean, I don't remember right now. Definitely not. I don't think so, but you can definitely change his name and play with him, so yeah. Oh, I should have charged up right here, because we can screw this guy up with one full blast and... BAM! And there you go. He's dead. Free X of this shit. Basically, X goes like, Zero, thank you. Says, are you okay? Thanks, I'm okay. I'll check around the headquarters again. Be on your guard, X. Yeah, they're pretty much just teasing you, you know, with the fact that Zero is going to be is a playable character throughout the game in a way, and well, at the the second Doppler stage, we can we can make a decision with him. I'm not gonna talk too much. Maybe I already spoiled things already, but yeah, there you go. Never mind. But yeah, the intro stage boss, nothing too hard. The stage is red all of a sudden. That's not good. It's basically this big guy right here. It's RNG. He might attack me good or he might not. We'll see. So far, ooh, was a little too aggressive. Okay. Basically just, oh, there you go, he got me. But yeah, RNG, sometimes he doesn't do anything at all, but... Even if you get hit a lot, you know, I got hit like three times, you still dealt with him anyway, so... Doesn't matter anything. But again, it's just the intro stage, right? Just so you can get familiar again with the controls of this game. So yeah, he's obviously dead. Music is gonna play? Not really, Zero's gonna come up. He's gonna say, looks like we've self we swept most of the enemies out of here. I'll go back and check out headquarters. Call me if you need me. See you later, X. But yeah, that's because of what I said, you know, we can contact him during the mission and play as him. Uh, password, that doesn't matter. So, stage select, and shame as usual. There's eight bosses, you get to pick whatever you want. The, the hearts are spread around the sub tanks, the armor and all that stuff, so yeah. But the route I'm gonna do here is called speed, which is like, a little fast, but not too fast, but definitely harder, you know. It's not ideal if you're playing the game for the first time. This is I already have. I'm already familiar with the stuff and all. So, first guy is called... I forgot his name. Oh, I, should, I, I skipped that. I'm sorry. But yeah, this music is good too. The overall soundtrack of this game compared to the others is, is like... The way I see it, X3 has a more bassy soundtrack, you know. You definitely feel that dum -dum -dum, the stuff on it. It's, it's great, honestly. But 
dude, there's one particular music I just don't like at all. You see what's gonna pop anyway, but yeah. But well, here's the stage after all. And I mean this stage is actually decent though. But my grip with the level design of most of the, the levels in this game is actually because of the fact that most of them, I mean some of them, they feel very empty. You know, it feels like you're not doing too much except like speeding through, you know, and Sure, I am sort of like speedy running and all of that, but I mean, just the level itself, the the design of it, it just feel empty sometimes, you know, you're just going through stuff, jumping, it doesn't feel like he has a lot of enemies, and when he does, it's a little too much, you know, so it, it's like they didn't find a good balance between that, you know, between the enemy, placing the enemies and the actual, the actual pacing of the level. I'm gonna get this because I took some damage over there, just to be sure, you know, I know my way around, but never know what's gonna happen, right? Not super confident in my speedrunning skills. And this game, I actually did not play this game as a kid, you know, like X1 and 2. I only played this on the emulator years later, when I got to go around and stuff. And yeah, like I said, it, the game is okay, it's good, it's solid, you can have definitely have fun with it, but it's just, I think just X1 and X2, they set up the bar a little too high, you know, and by the time this game came out, this the formula was already a bit rough. Definitely need some new stuff, which he did eventually get him getting and stuff, but yeah, it, it, this game doesn't remark me very well. But compared to the you know X6 and 7, for example, it still holds up very well. I mean, st still definitely a lot more better. But yeah, this was the, the first sub-boss, by the way. There's gonna be a few in some of the stages around and stuff. Uh, and well, that was pretty much all you gotta do, just shoot him. Progressive stage, thank you for the health bar. This guy right here is gonna shoot, I'm just gonna jump. Right here, see that whole section was just about that, so... It felt empty. Felt like definitely could have used it. Ooh! Ooh, okay, oh, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm not fine, Jesus, oh my god, I'm not, I'm, I'm not okay, wait, wait, wait. That, <laughs> okay, that was definitely... Unexpected from what I was practicing, but that's okay. The boss, the boss is not hard. This boss is actually chill, you know. Uh, I don't have the, the the weapon that is good against him, but that's because of the route that I'm doing, you know, being speed one. But yeah, it's definitely not, not something to be scared about. It might be, but it's not. Trust me. Ooh, okay, I messed up a little bit, but that's fine. I'm gonna beat him. You see, doing that. Was not fully charged. Here you go. Uh huh. Fully charged. Okay. Gonna do that. Pretty much all he did. I mean, some, he can do something a little different, but I, the way that I'm playing this, I don't think he will. You know, he would throw some stuff around. But there you go. See. It's all about jumping on You can actually like just jump him. You know, we don't have to jump on the wall and all you forget the timing, right? But it's a little it requires a little bit of practice, you know. But if you do that, you can I think you can kill it even a bit faster. But yeah, we finish it. Alright, so stage two for this, we're gonna play this one. This is where it gets a little rough, you know. If you fight this boss against the weakness, this one, he's he's definitely intimidating, you know, at least compared to all the other bosses and stuff. But uh we're gonna do it anyway. What I've been training for. But uh, okay, elevator park. There's always one of those around eventually. Just stay in the middle like this. When I shoot that guy, that's fine. Watch out for this. Here you go. Not much to it. Okay, speed up things a little. Just fast. See this whole part right here? I know there's something up there. I don't remember what it is, but it's not it's not relevant to the run right now, but. There's something on the on the wall too on the other side, but ooh, oh oh yeah, there's a hole in here. That's right. Okay, not much to it. There's one sub boss coming up. This one, they use a little bit of this technology at the time. You're gonna see right here. Hold up. Remember like the fight against Sigma in X2? They're using the same assets and stuff, you know. At the time, it must have been crazy, of course, to have something like this. Oh, oh god. Wait a second. Gonna go over here. Let's keep doing charges shots like this. Bam. One more and he's dead. There you go. Gonna give me something. Open the door, please. Thank you very much. Alright, that was the sub boss. 
Do, 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 do. Okay. There's a heart down here, which I'm gonna get. Ah, shuffle these guys. Right over here. We'll change for the weapon I've got. Break this wall. That's how you break it. Break this bars right here. Go down. And then you, we're gonna need this later on. And this part has. It's not a. There's another sub boss. I mean, it's not really a sub boss. It's not a boss, but it, it's so weird. It actually doesn't make a lot of sense, but you, you'll see. But we need this so we can get the heart. Right at the end, right here. Just speeds up the thing. Here you go. He's gonna come up. It's it's basically the ship, and he's gonna drop boxes in here. He's gonna have his little robot. This guy. He's gonna drop boxes in this, and that's all you do. But I don't remember if there's something specific you can do to speed things up. But that's it. You just you just destroy these boxes, and and then you move on. So, and not much to it. In fact, I'm gonna speed up using the emulator right here because that's really, that's really all you do. Some, he might put the box on the, on the other side, but that's it. This is just, honestly, this is just a waste of time. Well, is just something you can do? It's not destroying the robot. I tried doing that, but it's not it. But, okay. Here's the heart. Of course, always needed. We need to do a full upgrade on Axe, like get all the hearts, the armors. Because that's how you get the special armor at the Doppler Stage 1 at the end of the game. Which is, uh, which is a gold armor and stuff, you know. We'll, we'll see. I'm gonna explain what you gotta do to get there. So now, just a little bit more platforming. Go down here, watch out for the spikes. Just jump these guys right here. You can shoot him, that works as well. Ooh, there you go. There you go, now comes the actual boss. But yeah, the, the boss itself is a little tricky, but because of the way he moves, you know? But charges shots all the way, and it's gonna have these minions around too. Could be a problem, but you see how it's done. There you go, you son of a... Hmm? Oh, right there. I, oh, I actually did it wrong. That was not ideal. I should have done better than that, but... That's it, man. I'll live with it. Okay. Yeah, like that. You wanna do a charge a shot, and he's doing... Oh, I, I should have shot that. Ow. It was not needed. Again, I did the same thing. Okay, this is where he's gonna get. Oh god, see that thing that he shot? It basically sent his minions against me. That's what you wanna avoid in this. Oh god, this is actually quite dangerous. Oh god, oh god. I'm gonna destroy that thing because I don't wanna risk it. Ooh, that was a little too close. See? That's because I messed up a little bit, but pretty much all you gotta do. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a, a peek at Dr. Doppler, man. We're gonna come around and say, He's the Maverick Hunter I failed to catch last time. Talking about X. I had no idea he is so powerful. Bit and Bite. Which are these two guys, right here. I mean, this is one, where's the other one? There you go, the big one. Yeah, they're gonna appear at random times. Yeah. Bring that Maverick Hunter to me, alive if possible. And Bit is like, don't worry, doctor. I'll get that little bash for you. Affirmative, Dr. Doppler. That's it. Oh, and there's also that guy. They didn't try to hide very well. You know who the hell that is, don't you? Alive, Dr. Doppler? You are so kind. Watch your mouth or I'll put you back where I found you. Even with your enhancements, you are still no match for me. It's like, thanks for the upgrade, Doctor. But I have a score to settle. And I would do it myself. Yeah, that that is vile, of course that is, I mean. Duh. Fine, just make sure you do it. Still can't believe that Maverick Hunter defeated my master twice in the past. His master being obviously Sigma, that is, you know. Will Sigma be back though in the game? Well, you'll see. Okay, next stage is Blizzard Buffle. This one is this one's pretty chill actually. This stage is actually good and this one the, the, the music is pretty great. It's probably not my favorite. I would say so. I like it. It's so chill. I like this stage as well. Okay, so here's what I do. This is the one new thing about this game, you know. We have this capsule right here, which basically just summons a robot for you. You know, if you want to have better odds or anything like that. But we're gonna use it, because there are certain upgrades that requires the armor. Like this one, see? That's the way you can do this. Get the heart right here. 
this one just breeze through? Ooh. Okay. Oh, good. All right. Oh, I forgot about that. It's okay. There's one right here. Let's see if they can. So those two guys we saw, they can appear at random times. Uh, they didn't appear here though. But I guess I guess it's based on the, the order you make. You know how many bosses you defeat and they show up, and you have to fight them. You know they they show up. You gotta fight them, and you you don't get anything from it basically. There's no advantage doing so. They just show up. You just have to deal with it, and that's it. You don't like it? Cry about it. Okay. It's so good. All right, there's a heart up there. See, I mean, oh, not a heart, a uh, sub tank. We can't get it as I mean, we can get it in the way we are. There's a little trick you can do, which is kind of like the the iceless jump on Mega Man One. It requires precise uh, input, you know. So I didn't practice enough for that. So here's Doctor Light again. He's saying the same stuff, you know. Oh, like take this capsule. There's a leg upgrade. It will enhance your ability. In this game, it gives you air dash. And even like you can you can dash up too, which is necessary in a few parts of the game. So same stuff, right? right here you get a nice visual of it, and it's gonna do a there you go. See air dash, and up dash, which is pretty cool. There's a double dash we can get later on too, which I mean it involves the the gold armor stuff. So since we can do that, bam! That's how you get the sub tank. Get this out of it. This part right here is the most annoying in this game. You know, this little segment over there, jeez, it can't be so nerve wracking. But good news is that the boss is already coming up, and I do have the weakness for it, which is this, which is like a little bomb basically. Screws in up. The boss itself is chill. It's just because it's like this, you know? It's just horizontal stuff. There he is, man. Blizzard Buffalo. So you want to start immediately firing one. And here comes the RNG. Okay, that's the good one. He can either chase you or he can do some weird shit. You'll see. That's one. Okay. But he, he was kind of good to me over there. Oh, I did that. I did. I had to do that though. Okay. Oh, oh, oh god. This is a bad RNG. Bad RNG. Oh god. If I get hit one more time, that's it. But I don't think I will. He's, yeah, do a super. Don't worry about this. Just keep mashing. There you go. And he's dead. I am being a little lucky in this run. Thank God at that. But yeah, that's pretty much all you gotta do. In fact, you can actually be. A, it can't be a starting boss for you. You know, if you feel like it, just keep using the burst and all of that. It'd be no trouble. Next chase is Neon Tiger, and he he's probably the the most difficult one to fight against without a weakness. You know, it's it can't be. The way he fights and all, he has he has RNG, and there's a part that he becomes invincible a little bit. You gotta watch out for that. You know, it's definitely the one that gives me the most trouble and stuff. So, but oh god, I almost died on that shit. There you go. Yeah, part one of the stage, just jumping around as you should be, waiting for that to go away. Sub tank on top. Yeah, in this stage, you just jump around the enemies and stuff. Uh, there you go. Ba, 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 ba. Shoot this thing right here. I hate these enemies, by the way. These guys, and they do nothing except this. You know, just to get in the way. I hate them so goddamn much. But here you go. We're gonna do the same thing we did on the on the second stage of right here. And I use a dash so we can come up. And there's another part. This is the arms part, I believe. Enter this capsule X, the X burst upgrade. Oh, oh yeah, the X burst upgrade though is one of the things I actually don't like in this game because of how it works. You know, if you do a full charge shot, not only I never, I never looked at, at the shot and, and thought it looked good, but if you if you sh when you shoot that, if X is jumping it's like you're on the wall, he drops down of it. You know, it's because of how the shot works. You know, that's basically how it is. You know, stuff. I mean, it might look cool, but. I never saw it as being actually effective, you know, in, in normal. Yeah, I would rather not have it, <laughs> or if I got it, it would be later on in the game, but it's just because of how it is, you know. In, 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 oh, there's a sub boss right here. Basically, just shoot the head. It can't be a, a problem fighting this boss with the burst or two, so. Uh, see, like that, it's just. It, it is delayed, too, you know. You fire, and then it takes a few seconds to, like, do that and stuff. And if you're on the air, like I said, you do, you drop down, and that is gonna be a problem on the final boss of the game, on the final final fight of it. Uh, 
honestly. So it's just it's just these little things that the game had that you know, annoys me, basically. All right, that's done with. Here you go. Uh huh. Probably should skip this little spider. Can I can I speed up with the emulator like this? There you go. And you know what's happening and all of that. Just save us a little bit of time. Okay. Continuing with the stage, there is the the hard upgrade is at the end as well. It's right over here. In fact, we are pretty much about old, over with this. Ba, 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 ba. Hey. Okay, just a little bit more. Oh, there's one. Oh, oh, the, the bu sub boss might be here. The bit's gonna come up. No, he did not. He should have already. Maybe it is a bit of RNG though. He should have been on already. And the the fight itself against those two guys, it's not hard actually. It's definitely not. It's easy to get around. Just follow the pace. Okay, the heart is right over here. There you go. You just need the the boots to get it, pretty much. It's easily accessible. So now let's go to the boss itself. Like I said, it can be a little RNG-ish. It might be annoying for me. I don't know, but I think I I think I practice enough to to deal well, you know. Here you go. Gonna jump into the walls. He's like Vega from Street Fighter, right? Oh, right there. Shouldn't have shot, but that's fine. Okay. Okay, do the first jump. There you go. Okay, he's doing okay so far. He's actually behaving well. Okay. Oh, he's giving me pretty good RNG, actually. And the only problem is getting the sh... Oh, whoa, wait, wait. I freaked out. I freaked out a little bit. That's fine. Oh, there you go. Can't jump into the other wall too. He might, or even he can shoot while in the wall, which could be a problem for you. Uh, but that—that's good. That's like one of the best fights I've had against him, like ever. Oh, there you go. He's invisible, so just keep shooting at him like this. You don't want to get hit by that. It's not a one-hit kill, but it's definitely. Ooh, it's, it can hurt you pretty bad, but there you go. That was, that was actually a fairly solid fight. I just messed up a little bit when he was shooting the... Wow, wow, wow. Okay, next stage is him. He's called uh, Gravity Beetle, right? It's easy boss. Very easy boss. One of the easiest ones in the game. We have the weakness against him as well, so it should be a breeze. The music is great. Oh, actually, this is my favorite music of the game right here. It's this one. Mm -hmm. Lizard Brofall is behind this, so... Okay, this is an air base, some kind of, looks like it, so we got a heart right over, oh god, oh, oh, oh wait a second, oh shh, just trying not to get hit by some dumb stuff, here's the heart, in fact, we can start uh, filling up the sub tanks in this, you know, because, you know, you know how it fills up the sub tanks, right, it's just like the other games, you get a health bar, I mean a health, I don't know, what are these, this cookie, health cookie, whatever, while your health bar is at full, and I got the ice weapon from Blizzard Buffalo, and basically every enemy you kill while using the weapon, it's guaranteed that it's gonna drop a, a, a health biscuit or cookie, whatever, so this is a good spot to keep doing so like this, just so I don't have to do it later, I mean, I'll probably have to, because I still need another two, I mean, one more sub tank, I guess, and I think you got them all, there you go, yeah, I just need one more sub tank, but that's a good way to charge it up. Ooh, okay. All right. He will he show up this time? This might be a good spot. There he is. This is Bit, right? He basically just comes around and say, "Welcome. I am Bit. I have my orders. You are to be destroyed." Wow. The actual translation is pretty bad. I never noticed that. So yeah. Like I said, the fight itself is not complicated though. Just make sure you keep doing this. When he does that dash, he's gonna be where you are, so you wanna be close to the wall, so that way he pretty much falls like shit, and you don't do anything against it. Like this, you keep firing. You really wanna do charge of shots, though. Ah, uh, okay. That's, that's good so far, though. Oh, he trapped me. That's fine. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. One more. There you go. It's definitely... I don't think it's complicated, though. 
It is not possible for you to contain so much power. The next time we meet, the results shall be different. I doubt that very much, but yeah, that was beat. And Byte is gonna come up to Byte. I think it's an even easier fight, you know? It's definitely easier. I mean, if you get hit, like, he does like a dash thing and he can hit you. If you get hit by that, it might be complicated, but if you don't, it's a breeze. You just have to keep jumping around pretty much. You'll see when we get there. The game should give... Uh, but yeah, like I said, the game doesn't give you anything for uh, defeating him right now, so... That's pretty much it, I guess. Proceed to the stage. I got some damage right there that I shouldn't have. There you go. Nice. That's good enough. Okay. Oh, in this level... I think there's a... Uh, Oh, oh, oh god, wait. I'm gonna do this right here, save time. Oh god. Timey. Screwed up. That was supposed to be an up dash. I'm sorry. There you go. Alright, so we can pick up a robot up here and we need it. So we can get where the armor is. But we are not actually taking the armor that's gonna show up. And I'm gonna explain to you when we get there. Okay. Use it to jump around, screw it, whoever's on your way. Like these two guys right here. Ah. Oh yeah, and using the robot in this game, I don't know why they've done it, but there's a delay. There's like an input delay on doing the dash, on the jumping. Even more than it was on Mega Man X1 and stuff. I don't know why, but it's a little annoying, but here you go. This capsule is different, right? This is purple-ish, the armor, so here's what he has to say. Enter this capsule, X. Install this arm chip. This chip will increase your attacking abilities. I'm assuming it increases your damage. The chip allows damage to your system to be transformed and charged as a weapon. Energy. You'll be able to use it rapidly shoot the charged shots. So remember, your system can handle only one of the four enhancement chips. So choose wisely, if you will. So yeah, there are four of these spread around. If, if you pick one, that's it. But here's the thing. If you don't get any of these four armors, and you, if you get to... Doppler stage one, you actually get a gold armor, which gives you all four ships basically. So in in, in the trade-off for not using the, the these chips during your playthrough, if you save it until the later, you're gonna get all of them, which is a good deal to have, and is required for the 100% playthrough. So, but you have to you have to get where they are though. You need to access the, their location and trigger the the conversation with Doctor Light. If you want to get the gold armor later on. So I'm going to get close to them. Talk with Dr. Light. You know, do the animation thing. But not get the actual ship. So, the boss, like I said, is pretty easy. He's not going to do anything effective if I do this right. Which pretty much, you, have, you just have to keep doing this. You fire. He's going to jump forward. Come back again. You fire again. Okay, this time I'm going to dash below him. Like this. And you just repeat. That's it. Literally, probably the easiest one in the game. He doesn't do anything at all. But when he does, it can be painful though. He does like a gravity attack kind of thing. He can't hurt you, but... And that was it, man. He's done for. I haven't showed the special weapon yet, the animation yet, but there you go. Kind of hype. But yeah, that was it. Alright, so next stage is going to be... I forgot his name. Crackfish? Crawford Crackfish? Something like that. But yeah, anyway. And, well, this stage is actually kind of cool, though. The way it is designed is actually okay. There is a heart in this. There is a armor part as well. And you're going to notice right here at the beginning, there is something below, right? Over there, you can go down. That's for after we finish this stage. I'm going to tell you why when we get there. But, yeah, I like the music, too. The bass. These guys are annoying though. This stage, screw these guys. Oh my god, he hit me again. Okay. Another one right here, screw this guy over. Okay, the heart is gonna be up there. These are spikes, as you can see. If you touch them, you're freaking dead, as expected. So, you need the boots to get this heart, I think. I mean, at least the ideal way. It's right over there, and there's a wall. So, here's what we gotta do air dash, get the heart, keep pressing X. Keep jumping, otherwise you're gonna hit the spikes. That's it. Watch out on the fall right here. There you go. Get this sub tank, nice. And, oh, the other one is gonna be up here. I'm gonna go ahead and prick this, because we need that to access where the power is gonna be. Let me go ahead right here, I don't have to wait for this. 
right here. So this power is actually a gravity thing that you can do. So that's how you get this up. And next does this like super animation, whatever. And here is another. This is the chest, I believe. Take this armor upgrade. Yeah, the armor one. Basically, you take less damage. But it also does some funky thing to you. You're gonna see what I'm talking about, right? But yeah. It's the armor part as usual. Less damage. That's great. It's nice. He's gonna do... Yeah, he does that. I don't I don't remember right now what this is about. Because it's probably like... Uh, like, if you take damage while you have that, you, you get even less damage or something. A protection, maybe? I don't know. Whatever. Like I said, the armor upgrades in, the, in this game, they are sort of weird, you know? The way they work. Especially the helmet one. Oh, it's Bite right here. The big one. All right. Here we go. Hello. Nice to meet you, X. I am Bite. I like how pol polite these guys are, you know? I've been programmed to exterminate you. Actually, straight to the point. Got it, my boy. He's good. All right. So here's the thing. Oh, my God. He hit me. The thing I said it was a trouble. It happened to me. But yeah, never mind that. That's all you gotta do here. He's gonna fire that. Keep charging your shots or don't. And then just jump around his ass like this. Oh, that was not charging. Okay. Uh-huh. Ooh, there you go. Not charging either. That's all he does. That pretty much he doesn't do anything funky later or something like that. No, that's pretty much all of it. You just don't want to get hit when he dashes at you, pretty much. And that's it, and he's done with. And he's like, hmm, I didn't expect you to have this power. I've lost this time, but I will crush you next time. That's what the other dude said, but you're not gonna do that though. Because I know what they're about to go. So uh oh there's a sub tank is gonna be below here. Here's how we're gonna get it. Just go up here. Get the armor again. There you go. We have the other one, like the heavy. We could get that. In fact, I think it would be better to use the other one in this little part, but never mind that. We just need the armor to do this. We need to break the ground right here. Fall down. Screw these guys. And there's the sub tanks. And even some supplies as well. That's nice. Okay, now we don't need it anymore. Leave it there. Keep going up. Oh my god, I didn't kill him. I hate those guys there. Shit, this part right here is gonna be... Can't, be super, can't screw you over, actually. See, oh, all these little jumps, there's enemies everywhere. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, there you go. Okay, we, we're through. Almost there. Just one more section right here, this one. Jump down, and there's the boss. We have the weakness against him. It is also an easy boss, too. I mean, he just, like, jumps around and he gets hit. But you just have to, like... Walk a little bit, just do a few steps, and he's done with this guy right here. I don't know, he's my team. I think he's meant to be a fish or some shit. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. He, he jumps around and he gets hit, so you want to like, you know, even before he gets to the ground, you should be firing the other one like this. And, and uh, uh, that's that's all he, I mean, at, when he's about to die, he does actually, he, he, go, he gets easier when he's about to die though, because he doesn't keep jumping left and right you'll see but yeah it's a pretty boring fight actually so all you gotta do it takes a while there you go he's gonna keep jumping in the middle he's gonna i don't know thunder on him get stronger but you just keep repeating in fact i'm gonna speed this up like this with the emulator because because that that's pretty much it that's all you gotta do honestly. all right so like i said we need to come back to his stage i mean this is the what this is the stage that I that I do, but you can this this uh this alternate access is available in other stages as well. So we wanna go down here because we're gonna go to like I said the alternate stage where we're gonna fight someone you know basically. Right here. <laughs> Nothing special about the stage itself. Just this part right here, falling rocks and stuff. Nothing to be worried about. Except when that happens. Oh my god. Why did it? Why? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Oh my. Oh, I screwed up. No worry. There's a little delay on the, on the input. Screwed me over. Okay, that's it. That's it. The boss is gonna be right here. You see who it is. Before I go ahead, let me charge this shot. There you go. There is a little trick about how you end this, and it impacts the game. So. There you go. See, it's Vile. Duh, he's, he's back. Vile, Zero and I destroyed you years ago. 
This factory is set to blow in a matter of minutes. Until then, I'll try and keep you busy. Yeah, and the dialogue is pretty weird in this game, isn't it? Oh shit, I did a full charge of one. God damn it. Okay. So, this is part one, though. You can do some other stuff later. Oh god, I missed that. Ooh, 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 ooh. I can actually do it like this. You can't, you can't, like, bait him, set him to attack, and then leave. It's actually not so hard to do. I thought it was harder. Be like this. Oh, last one. There you go. And now there's part two. So listen, you can't finish him with just the X Buster. You need to do the final shot against him using a special weapon that we've got. So I'm just gonna weaken him. I prefer fighting it this way. It would be ideal to use the weapon, actually. It would be nothing wrong with that right now, but let me just do it with the Act Buster, because I'm used to it. Keep weakening him up. Like this. Uh-huh. Keep getting shot at one more. Alright, I'm gonna switch it. So this is the weapon you gotta use. The final shot. That's the way. If you do this, he actually dies. He says, don't think this is the NX. I will hunt you to the day you die. And now he's really dead. If you just if you just do the final shot on him with the X Buster or any... I think there's actually another weapon that, that is useful. But if you don't use it, he just goes away. And he comes back. Which prevents you from getting the 100% root and stuff. You're gonna fight a different boss at the end. Where he was supposed to be and stuff. And now... As he said, this factory is rigged to blow, so you want to get out of here as soon as you can. Ah, these guys are so annoying. I hate these guys so much. But yeah. Or climbing again. Just keep your chill. Uh huh. Nice. Just jump right here. These things can bait you, and there you go. There's enough time. And we're through. Sorry. Right. We've done what we're supposed to do here, so I can just exit the stage. We got no business in here anymore. Next stage is going to be this guy, whose name I also... I think this one is Crawfish Crawford. This one is supposed to be the fish. The other one was, was is a Volt guy, whatever, whatever he's called. So, start with this first off. We need the super attack of this weapon, so X does this. He likes... Mm, punches the ground for no reason. And we get the armor, I mean, not the armor, the uh, robot thing. We're gonna need that. Right now, actually. Right over here. Take this one that says H, which is a robot, but this one fires missiles. You're gonna see right here, rockets, whatever. Like this. We're gonna need that so we can get the heart in a minute. And also the, the arm chip thing, or the ship part, whatever. I don't remember which one is which, so... Here's what it is. This is so weird. It's right over here. I mean, not weird. It's actually market. Yeah. The game kind of tells you where it is. Watch out for this guy right here. Drop the robot down. Break the wall. Leave him alone. And right here, there's the second chip part. Like I said, you don't get him. You just talk with Dr. Light. This one is the R1. Let me skip this thing. I don't need to see. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't pick it up. Just leave it as it is. The actual reward is going to come later on in the game. So, up this wall. Uh, I don't think there's a sub boss here. It should be one of it should be either beat or bite, but we have we already done with them, so just keep walking. This ground right here, this thing is fake. One of these, I mean, the, I think it's a later one. Oh, these guys are a little funky. Yeah, this one is fake. If you drop here, where is it? Oh, it's not fake anymore. Did I do something different? It was supposed to be a fake one or, or something. Whatever. Okay, jump this guy. This one you need to kill him. We can blow up the ground and go down. This part might be a little weird. Right here. Oh god, I, I screwed up. A little bit. There you go. Never mind that. So yeah. Open this door. Oh, this one looks like could be a sub boss, but not really. You just have to. You just blow this up. X just coming or going around places blowing stuff up. That's okay. It opens this hole right here in the ground. Okay, and there you go. And there's the boss. Oh, 
This boss, we have the, the weapon against it, but there's also a trick. You can glitch the game a little and get a quick kill. I'm gonna see if I can do it, though. Need a little precision timing. You're gonna see how it is. There you go. Yeah, he's definitely a crab or something on the water, but there you go. Ah, he got to me. Let's see if I can do it again. No, not really. You gotta fire at him first. We need to get him to go to use his in the verability frame, you know. So it can be. Oh, it got shot there. But yeah, if you use the super, uh, X is gonna do the attack, right? He's gonna punch the ground. And if you do that while he's on his invisibility frames, he actually takes a mega hit. You know, yeah, the health, his health bar goes down like crazy. So you can kill him almost instantly. But I failed on doing that. Now the final stage, this guy's called, I remember this one, he's called Acid Seahorse. I hate this stage, by the way. I really, I really absolutely hate this one because of the things that you have to do. So you can get all the upgrades. It's one of them is super annoying. You'll see. The stage itself is actually chill. Like, there's not much going around. Just these guys around. Okay. The heart is gonna be up here. Oh, watch out for this. Get hit by that shit. Ooh, okay. It's okay. It's gonna be quite obvious up here. It's where the heart is. You don't know you don't need anything to grab it. You just gotta be around pretty much. Okay, so this is uh should have been a sub boss here, but Ain't gonna be no one. Just for meant to be, just wasting your time. Okay, but now is where we're gonna get the upgrades, man. I, it's so annoying because we have to use the frog armor, which is this one right here. And I, I, it's a, I guess it is meant to be a frog because it keeps jumping around. See, that's that's the only way you can walk with this. You know, he he jumps. He doesn't walk. He just humps all around. The the. the the supposed ability of this is, is the missiles, right? This attack, which is okay, which is nice. And also he can jump pretty high, which we're gonna need it too, so... But yeah, this whole part is just about that. I should not be killing those guys because those shells will become a nuisance for what we have to do, but that's okay. So here's, what, here's why we need to have him around. We need to kill those big ass fans right here, those engines. Use him to jump. We're not gonna go to the left just yet, because there is a chip part in here. Just talk to Dr. Light, I'm just gonna skip this. We know what this is about. Doesn't have to talk. Don't pick it up. And now we have to jump our old way. So here's the thing, here's the thing. See, if you jump on the surface of the water, you get an extra jump, and you need that to go around. So we can get this. We, we're not even gonna use this K. In fact, I don't even remember which robot it is, you know, but we need it for the, the 100%, basically, so we can get the old, the, the gold armor later on, but that's it. That was what, what was annoying about this. We still have some stuff left. Oh, there's actually a sub-boss coming up. There's a little robot squid or whatever. Not, not easy to deal with. I mean, not hard to deal with it. It's simple, actually. You only fire these rockets. That was stuff too, or whatever. Just stay glued to the wall, and that was it. Another time thing. Let me speed this up. Fast forward the game. Right. Just a little bit more platforming. Oh, there's one part right here. It's gonna come up, which is super bait, though. I actually got killed a few times because of it. Goddamn game did it on purpose. You're gonna see it. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, you're on the outside again? Nothing special about it. Just this. Alright, it's this part right here. See, there's spikes around. The game is just like inviting you to jump, you know, be fast, but yeah. I got killed several times, in fact. And that goddamn spike because of that freaking game. Alright, so. He's the last boss, so obviously we have the weakness, which is this ice. There's a little trick you can do to speed up the fight. I'm gonna try to show you what it is. It uses his invis invisibility frames, of course. So when he gets hit, he turns into like that. When he does that jump, oh, there you go, I got it. See? You stop him from jumping more, and you can use that to fire at him. You can do extra damage, like this. 
Okay, it was actually it was actually better than what I thought it would be, but not ideal, of course. If you if you like if you fire at the the right high as it should be, you he actually drops down. He's not invisible anymore, so you can just spam the ice thing again. It's pretty useful. All right, now that we completed all the stages, oh, actually, I skipped the cutscene with this guy before. You know, he's our master now. He's called Doctor Kane. And he basically goes on to say that I pulled some memory ships from the Mavericks controlled by Dr. Doppler. I analyzed them and found out that he's trying to create a powerful new battery body by collecting the special abilities from the latest breed of Ripoids. Wow, battle body? First I thought Dr. Doppler was trying to create it for himself, but the information indicates that he would not be able to interface with it. So it must be for someone else. Sigma? Can he still be alive? He says. A hidden laboratory has been pinpointed to Dr. D. All indicators are that in Dr. Lobber's secret lab. You need to get there immediately. Her says, Alright, on my way. Zero says, It's time to end this for good. <laughs> I'll tell you right now that it's not the last time. But yeah. He's gonna, there's his laboratory right there. He's got no desire to hide it anymore. But before we get there, we need one last upgrade, which is the heart. Rhino stage. Um, we need this weapon right here to get access to it. The heart is right over there, so we need to use the super. Drop this rock right here, and we get. We're gonna do this again when we get to the 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 helmet part area. Okay, it's right over here. Bam! Stop the ground. We're gonna get outside. Dr. Light's gonna say to you, yeah, this is the helmet part, uh, you, you know the drill, but... Here's what the helmet part is for. It, it gives you a blueprint of the map, of the stage you are, and it tells where the secrets are. So it's ideal to pick it up if it's like you're early in the game, of course, when I go there first, but... That's just about it, honestly. Uh, I, you know, see, uh, no, I get it, like I said, I get it why it's there, but... Meh. When you're just collecting stuff to do a speedrun, it seems, it seems silly, you know, to get it. But yeah, anyway, let's jump into the first Doppler stage. And th this is where we get the gold armor, by the way. I'm gonna show you. It's just like Mega Man X1 and X2. You need to be at full health if you want to get the special armor. But of course, I already told you it's the gold armor, right? So it's not a Hadouken or a Shoryuken this time, unfortunately. It's something else. So right here can be a little tricky with these spikes coming down on you. There you go. No problemo. Okay. Walls are closing in. Don't worry about it. We've done this before in the next two, right? Get something similar. Little shortcut here. Oh, he hit me. Oh, he hit me again. Oh, now I have to use a sub tank. What an idiot. Anyway, whatever. There's a sub boss coming up. It's this guy right here. He's driving this robot. So, we have the weakness against him. He's just gonna come up and he says, I've come to help you. I'll stop the collapsing ceiling when you destroy the junk, whatever. So, this is the weapon that is weak against him. The acid stuff. One more and he's down. There you go. No problemo at all. And Zero is gonna be, he destroyed the, there's a, there was supposed to be a mechanism here. With the spikes, but he did a good job, but yeah. They've been modified by Dr. Dominant War Machines. Be careful! I'll watch my step. Thanks. Better to scatter around. Catch you later. Okay. We can switch with Zero. I actually, oh, I didn't show you, right? I didn't show you what it's like to play as Zero, but... Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh... Whew. We're gonna use him for later. Okay, jump around. Oh, I lost a little bit of health. Can I actually... Let's see if I'm lucky and I can get, like... Actually, I just made it worse, actually. Yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna use a sub tank. I don't want to drag this on. Oh, there was one health bar over there. Whatever. Anyway. Never mind. So, okay, so this is a good spot to use it. Oh, I only got half, so. Okay. This is where the armor is gonna be down here. In this wall. And there you go. Dr. Light's gonna have a special dialogue saying, you know, install this ship to enhance all your parts. This situation should, should now be improved. Good luck, X. So there you go. This is why we have been not getting those chips during the stages. Gonna get a gold stuff though. There you go. Bam. 
he's going. He's like Mega Man X2, right? It's a sure you can, yeah, but you don't have one. But basically, you get all the ships. And what does the, the chips do? Well, the armor gives you... Probably gives you more damage or just changes the super, whatever. The boots is the most interesting one because it gives you double dash. So, which means that I can do stuff like this, you know, I can do an air dash like this and then do a second. Oh, actually, no, I can do this and then this. See, I can do a dash jump and just jump in the air again, which is going to be useful later on. So, uh, oh, yeah, there's nothing. There's, there's definitely there's supposed to something to be up there, though. That part felt weird. Okay. There's a boss coming up. It's bit and bite, I'm gonna tell you right away. And this is the weapon that is weak against them. I mean, weak like weak for them. Here they are again. We've been waiting for you, X. Dr. Doppler modified us after our first battle with you. Take a look at these new improvements. And the dialogue is so empty. It's not, not even engaging, man. But there you go, man. It's this big thing. Okay. Ooh, okay. This is... He has two attacks, basically. Oh, he's giving me the good RNG, though. Oh, he's being super easy with me, I guess, today. Well, not this. Yeah. Yeah, if that arm grabs you, he's gonna take you to the ceiling, and you can't move. It's so annoying. But avoid that. The second one, I think, can only hurt you a little, but it doesn't drag you around. It's, it's the most... The only, like, annoying thing that he do, you know? The sword stuff is easy. You just dash it, or just jump from the wall. It also works like that, but it's a game, man. It's pretty solid. All right, Doppler Stage 2. This part has a very annoying segment, though. Like an elevator one. You played it, you know what I'm talking about. Ah, shit, that, that one is super annoying. And these guys, they have extra armor, so... Double dash can be useful here. It's a good way to use it. Okay, this one's gonna be underwater. It's not always underwater though, but it is because we killed. I think he, it's because we killed Vile. Probably is one of the consequences. Not very familiar. Okay, so here you go. We gotta use X. I mean zero in this one because we need him to be a scapegoat pretty much. So the only time you're gonna see me play as him. The actual boss is super easy. Nothing too different. But it's because of what happens when he dies. You know, we need that to happen for us. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Should be using the sword, actually. Oh god. Okay. Let me come back. One more of these. Uh... There you go. So here's what happens. This piece of shit just dies, and he gets to us. Uh, you know, he's just self-destruct for no reason. And because we are using zero, he's the one that's gonna take the hit. So, he's gonna die. Actually, does he really die or is he just like... No, he doesn't die. He just gets screwed up, basically. Zero, are you okay? Sorry, I failed. This is my power generator is damaged. I'll try and make it back to Dr. Kane lab for repair. Intel, what is waiting for you, Axe? You better take my bean saber with you. Brush them all, Axe. You're our last hope. So, yeah. He gives us his Z-Sabers. You can use it in the same way as him, you know? Fire once. Again. And there you go. With Axe is better because he actually... He can, like, do a projectile with it. Which is nice. But I'm not gonna use it. In fact. Oh, God. And I really don't, don't use the Z-Saber when I play this. I just keep it with me for the 100% stuff. But that's pretty much it. But here's the elevator part I was talking about. Ah, oh, shit, this part just sucks. So, yeah. Th there is a way to speed this up, you know. There's a trick in this game that you, if you do a charge a shot and you jump, you get an extra, extra opportunity to jump again. You know, you could jump twice. And you can use that to speed things around. But it's a, it, it's a technique that requires effort. I mean, practice pretty much. I haven't done that, so you're gonna have to cope with this right now. This is basically what it is, you know? In fact, I should skip this part right here. Bam! Okay, we're through. Now for the boss fight. Uh, I need this right here. There you go. This is what it's good against him. Right. It looks scary, I know. Not super hard, I can guarantee you. 
Oh, his attacks suck though. Okay. I'm gonna stay right here to bait him into doing this. Better than using those goddamn rockets around. I guess. Okay, can stay on the ground now. And he's down with definitely. Not a nothing special about this boss actually. Yeah, now that I'm seeing it. But there is that. Okay, so this is Doppler Stage 3, and this is this is the one where you fight all the bosses again. You know, classic Mega Man stuff, they, they've done it in the previous two games. And they kept doing it for a long time, so I'm just gonna skip this part right here, so nothing special about it. Mm, there you go, I got it, just wanted to see him do it like that. That was what, what I was supposed to do last time. Alright, now that's, since that's done with, there's still a little bit of motor to, of life to this stage. It should just get us ahead to the boss, honestly. I'll take that to make sure. There's this random guy, he's lost, he's not supposed to be here, so yeah. The weakness against Dr. Doppler is the acid affecting, so... He's gonna talk some shit about how he's great. I've been waiting for you, I am Dr. Doppler. I've been watching you closely. Your victories over my man have been most impressive. I need superior reploids like yourself, X. I offer you a chance to join us. Together we shall build a utopia where the reploids rule under the watchful eyes of Sigma, our lord and savior. No way, Doc! Your schemes are here and here now. Perhaps you are not as much as I once thought. Prepare to be ripped apart and to be born again as part of the new body of Sigma. Oh yeah. So he has a little trick. I'm gonna do it on purpose next time, just to show you. But yeah. Oh, actually, he did it right now. See? If you fire when he's do that, he gets his health back, as you saw. So, you don't want to do that, of course. So, you just wait around. Wait for him to attack, and then shoot. Not right now. Do it again. Okay. Let him do this jump shit, whatever. Should be able to fire him. Oh, that's not gonna be useful, my man. I just got myself a free hit. Oh, yeah, I should have done that, but okay, whatever. Alright, dude. Do your jump thing over here. There you go, another one. Hold up. Shoot! The right timing for it. I think I can do another one here, though. Mm, I guess not as quite. Oh, there you go. Oh, actually, it's ideally you want to do that, though. I just realized that. You want to let him do that on purpose. Not gonna take damage from it. I mean... Not gonna recover his health. Like that. Oh yeah, that is a good way. Oh, I, I was too soon. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Now I can just keep firing him because the damage I'm gonna do is gonna be more than what he can recover. So I'm just gonna fire right here. See? He can't do anything about that. So and that's pretty much all the fight. Uh, he's not a definitely not a boss with a lot of good stuff. You know, definitely not super interesting though. You would expect him to have at least a second form or something. You are strong, X. Strong enough to defeat Sigma. Doppler, can you talk? Sigma's true form is that of a computer virus. I was corrupted by him and I created a horrific new body for him. Where's the body now? It's in the underground hangar of this lab. I don't think Sigma has occupied it yet. Don't worry about me. Destroy the body before it's too late. Time is running out. Thanks, Doc. I don't remember what happens with him. Does he die or something? I don't remember the lore as of right now. But yeah, anyway. Now is the last stage and as they already pretty much told you. Oh, there's his body right there. It's kind of creepy, right? Factory for him. There's a second one too. My man has been resurrected. Okay, so whatever. We just have to deal with him one more time. He's right over there. So I'm going to... Pick up the weapon. This is the weapon that he's against against his first form. He has two, of course, as he should. So yeah. There he is again for a third time. We meet again, X. It was easy to corrupt that fool, Doppler. And I would have succeeded if you hadn't interfered. But we are always destined to meet, aren't we? Let the et eternal struggle begin. <laughs> he knows what he's talking about, though. He's actually hard, though. His first part. If you're not careful enough, oh shit's gonna hit you. Oh shit. Oh god, oh god, I'm getting hit left and right. I'm getting 
Did, oh, 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 oh god, oh god. I did not practice this enough, as you can see. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Here we go, one more. You throw his shield around. Oh my god, I should heal up. See? He does so much damage. And that is with me, with the armor, right? Without the armor, like, holy shit. You get crazy, but there you go. Form 1 is done. That was the easy part, of course. The Form 2 of Sigma and Mega Man X3 is one of, can be one of the most frustrating bosses in the entire Mega Man X. You're gonna see why. So yeah. There's the new body. Well done, X, but I'm far stronger than my previous forms. Behold the power of the ultimate battle body. Mm hmm. This thing right here. So here's the thing the weakness against this is the charged buster, and you can only hit his head. So you only have a limited hitbox to work with here. And of course, you have to dodge all the stuff that he's gonna throw at you. So, yeah, it's gonna be annoying. Ow, I took that, I took that. Oh, those rockets, see, they, they take so much damage from you. They do so much. Oh god. Okay. Don't know exactly what that's for. And because I have the full charge at shot, I have the limitation I talked about. So it becomes even more annoying to fight against him in this form. Oh my god, and I got hit. It's not his hitbox. There you go, got one hit. Okay, at least I got a hit over there. Oh, let me use my shit. He already deals so much damage. Those things come to wreck you up even more. Okay. Oh, he's doing... This is the annoying one. That was not a hit? How the fuck? Okay. okay now it's good, though. He did the, the best thing he can do. Okay. Okay, one more though. There you go, I deal with him. There's still one more bullshit you gotta deal with. And I mean, the game at this point, he, they were just messing with you. Because if you die in what's about to come up, you have to repeat the level. You have to fight him again and... You know, that's why. But yeah. No, it can't be! I can't even defeat you with this magnificent body. There seems to be only one choice now. I will possess you. You're gonna try to do that, and well, I mean, it would have been cool if it, if it was an actual fight, but it's not. In fact, I'm gonna use this right away because if I get killed here, so here's the thing: flames are coming up. It's not an insta kill if you get hit, though, but you need to recover quickly, otherwise it will kill you on the second one. Now I don't remember. Oh, okay, I dodged it. It's gonna try to hit you, of course, and this part is just meant to screw you over because if you die. You have to come back at this stage, you know, you have to defeat Sigma again, his, sec his first and second form. But, okay, now obviously, that is dealt with it. Damn, it's a dead end. How funny. And there he is. Gonna try to do it. <laughs> Give up, X. I will possess your body and rule the whole world. Guess not, prick. There's Doppler. Oh, that's how he's come back. I haven't seen this. Ah! You were Doppler! How did you... How do you feel now, Sigma? Did you like my special vaccine for the Sigma virus? Huh. X, I'm sorry to have given you so much trouble. I know I can never really atone for what I have done. But I will try to set things right by taking Sigma with me. My program is fading. X, it's... Time to say goodbye. Yeah. I mean, he didn't have any fought at it, you know? Sigma hacked him and stuff, giving him the virus to possess him. I don't think it was him to blame. But, well, he did a good thing at the end. Yeah. That place is blown up. All right. There's Axe again, standing on a cliff in the desert or something or whatever. He's gonna have his reflection moment again, basically. Axe has crushed Sigma's plan once again, but many questions still occupy his mind. Naturally, you know, if Sigma's coming back, you know, it's that kind of stuff. Why you humans fight against Reploids? 
And why must love reploids fight against each other? Hmm. Why is that? That is. As Zack stares at the burning remembrance of Doppler's lab, his body trembles from a unknown sorrow. Hmm. What does fate have in store for me? He wonders. He can only hope that someday Dr. Light's plan for him will finally be revealed. Unknown to X, his destiny has already been decided. To save mankind, he must destroy Zero. Damn! Well, that's sort of an unexpected thing. But only time would tell. And why. When and why. Hmm. Yeah, that is because Zero was created as... A, a little bit of Mega Man X lore and stuff. Zero was created to defeat X, you know, his purpose was kind of like that. He was created by uh, Dr. Uh, Willy, you know, back in, the d back in the day and stuff. While Dr. Light created X, you know, to have unlimited potential, that kind of stuff. So, they were always meant to be rivals, you know, and that's what the... That, I think... This, Mega Man X2 was the first one to hint at that, you know, but I mean, but I've always knew and all, of course, but... That was sort of like the destiny of him, you know, they were always meant to engage each other. They were always like a trouble for each other, but... They ended up working together, right? But for how long is that gonna be? Well, that's something we're gonna find out eventually, right? As we play those games. But yeah, dude, Mega Man 3 is X3 just like I said. It's it's a good game, but it's just compared to X1 and 2, definitely falls a bit short, you know? In the level design especially. They they feel they're either feel too empty or just uh, a little too cranked, you know, with, with enemies. So it is this weird experience compared to 1, X1 and 2, but still solid, I, I would say. Definitely still solid in what the game is and all of that. So, I, I still love replaying this, of course. And, well, the next game is going to be Mega Man X4, of course. Uh, let me just, just skip this part right here, see if there's anything specific. Yeah, yeah. Right, here you go. Thank you for playing. Presented by Capcom. I don't remember if they hint on the next game in this one. Let's see. Yeah, I guess not. I guess you're just supposed to. But yeah, this this was the last NES, SNES game, of course. Like I said, the next is gonna be uh, Max, Mega Man X4 on the PlayStation, which I mean, Max 4, and Mega Man X4, most fans would consider to be the best one, you know. And for me, after Mega Man X1, X4 is definitely my favorite, you know. Not only Zero is finally a, a playable character on it. It's, just, it's so good, the stages are so good, nice music, it was just a nice next-gen at the time, of course, a next-gen feeling, you know, for Mega Man X at the time, it was a pretty good game, so we'll see when that's gonna happen, right? Thank you guys for watching, as always, and uh, I'll see you soon.